Hey guys, it's Mike the Wrestling God Smith. Um, I'm doing uh this video is actually for uh AEW Revolution, re my review of it. Uh, like I said, uh, I think it was a fantastic. I know I should have did predictions, but everything that was going to happen that I've seen the last couple of weeks, uh, the co you know, pretty much all the rivalries like Hikaru Shida with Ryu, uh, Ryu Sakazaki, and everything else like that, like pretty much AEW in a nutshell was great. Um, I think the one match that really kind of was the really, like, probably the best, the craziest thing that was cool in AEW was the fact that we had a street fight with Darby Allen and Sting and Ricky Starks and, 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 and Brian Cage and Bull Hobbs was there and he interfered. It was, it was really cool because the thing is, like, the film, like, the, pretty much the film style was cool. Like, the art style was really good. I love the fact that they had all the hood, like, all the Darby hoodlums and all the Sting people. That was pretty cool because, like, I got to see all the all the dudes walking into, like, the abandoned, like, I guess you could say the abandoned warehouse ring thing. That was cool because they were all lining up and the music pops in and Sting comes in. But it was a fantastic match. And I love the fact that Sting took off his coat. And he threw Darby into, um, into Brian Cage. And Brian Cage is just beating the pout, like, beating the tar out of this dude, like... The crowd, everybody was into it. It was probably the most fun match I've ever seen. Like, that was really cool because, like, I got to see, like, a lot of powerbomb spots. And the thing is, like, Darby Allen's taking, like, a like a, like a gla like a a glass glass bottle and then Hobbs and, and Brian throwing him, like, into, like, pretty much doing, like, the, 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 the seesaw swing into the glass was crazy. I like the fact that Sting was actually getting beaten up. And he was going to war with him, and he took the bat, and he was hitting him with the bat. And, and Brian Cage was like a, like, literally, he's like a, he's like a zombie. He just kept getting back up. Like, they put him through a table. He got back up. Ricky Starks, he, he just, he took a bad one. Like, I think he basically went, like, um, I think there was a table. There was, like, a table with tarp on the bottom of, like, in the bottom of, the, like, the second floor of the warehouse. And Darby Allen from the top, from the top of the warehouse, there's a coffin drop into him. And I'm like, bro... To do that is crazy. I mean, I did like the face of the revolution match was pretty cool because I got to see Ethan Page for Impact. Um, the one thing I'm wondering with that, I'm wondering if they're gonna get the North in there because I would like the North to be in a, a um AEW. Because I'm thinking without Ethan Page without his other without his partner it doesn't it doesn't make sense. Um, that was cool. Sorry guys, I love the Hikaru Shida match with on Ryu Sakazaki. Was that was amazing? I think that was a really good match because they were just they were testing each other's wills and fortitude and just willing to go. Cause like Ryu Sakazaki took like three shining wizards and like three shining wizards, three like pow, pile drivers. Like she was doing her her top rope, um, her, her top rope leg drop, and, and and she couldn't still couldn't get rid of Shida. And no matter what she did threw at her, Ryu Sakazaki had to literally, like, she, she just kept getting back out. And it took, like, she basically had to literally knock her out to get the win. And Ryu Sakazaki, she, she even said, if you take 100, she took 100, you take 100 years, you still wouldn't be able to beat me. And the thing was, like, it was a nice rivalry because I've seen, I saw them um, at Double or Nothing. I saw them. And... The amount of, like, respect that they had for each other was crazy. And I love the fact that the Vicious, I guess the Vicious Vixens and, and Nyla Rose and Vicky Guerrero and and, and Maki, Maki Ito and, and, and Reba and, and and Britt Baker were there. Like, the crazy thing is, like, I like the fact there's more women factions. Because I like the fact that Thunder Rosa came out and she was ready to go. That that can't wait for Wednesday, guys. I'm telling you, this 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 pay per view was amazing. It was, cause I'm telling you, it it wasn't bad. It really was an amazing pay per view. Even the fact that we got Paul, we got well, Big Soul slash Paul Wade there to like. And I'm telling you guys that I wasn't gonna spoil this, but uh, I'm I think I'm now in spoil territory because it's been four, it's been past four minutes. Um, Christian it got signed. To, uh, Christian is the new guy that they signed to AEW. And I'm glad he's there. I'm actually glad. Because I feel like he's going to be a great addition. I really do. I want to see Christian. I want to see that dude become AEW champion at some point. Or even TNT champion. Because I'm glad Sting, like, Sting with him. Christian and Sting being there is going to change the whole different ball. We're going to get a lot of TNA feuds. 
We're going to get a ton of TNA feuds, bro. We are going to get a ton. I'm telling you. And the thing is, like, I like the fact that he didn't even have to do a promo. And the thing is, the music kicked in. It was a massive pop for Christian. It was a massive pop. And I love that Big Show is going to be a color commentator on um, AEW. Um, I think it's uh, um, Evolu- Absolution or something like that. One of their new, um, their new um, AEW chan- um, YouTube channel is going to be. Because, like, here's the thing. I love the fact that they're letting everybody kind of go. And I love the fact that we had a, a fantastic match between Orange Cassidy, Miro, and Kip Sabian. Miro is unstoppable. Dude, dude's a, dude's a powerhouse. And I love the fact that he's there. I love the fact that they're trying to do something with him. It's just that I have a lot. Like, I want him to be champion, but just not yet. Like, I'd rather him be TNT champion or FTW champion. And I and I like him. I do. I just I want so much for Miro that I just really wish he could. I just really wish they do something more with him, and get him more, get rid of Kip Sabian and Penel before because they're holding that dude back. They're holding him back, and it feels like. Here's the thing. It feels like they're they don't know what to do with Cap Sabian. I love the rob. I love the feud that they're getting into with him. It's just, it's literally just. It's really just brain. It's really just brain teasing right now. And that's the thing that kind of gets me is because we're literally in this. We're kind of in the stage of brain teasing everybody. And I feel like if we're really if they're really gonna go that route or they're gonna go that opportunity, then we need to go that opportunity. But like I said, bro. Like I think my the. The match the night for me was the Young Bucks versus MJF and 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 Chris Jericho. Because I already feel that MJF is gonna tell that Chris needs to go and you're a weak link or something on Wednesday. But I, I like the fact that the Young Bucks even said, like, even if you were gonna try to beat us, you still couldn't. And and Chris Jericho is a great guy. He's a great wrestler and everything. He's thirty years in the business and all that. But MJF would just like do he got over content. That's what messed him up. He got overconfident. He thought he was going to get that. They thought they was just going to walk in and beat the young boys. Y'all going to have to be at the level to beat them. And I love the fact that we got loot. We got pretty much, um, we got um, Death Triangle. We got Pac. We had Pac in the free. Like, I love that Pac and him and, and Ray Phoenix. They are crazy. Like, Ray Phoenix doing what he did in that, um, that, that, that tag team battle, um, casino, um, battle royale was crazy. Like, you had the natural, like, the natural nightmares. You had them. You had literally on the not the varsity blondes. You had them. You had private party, and private party. Not saying I don't believe the whole thing with Matt Hardy with Big Money Matt, but yo, I love the fact that they're actually trying to be more vicious. But they it just it just it just doesn't it doesn't fit them. It really doesn't fit them. Like I like when they didn't, when Matt Hardy wasn't trying to get them involved. And the thing is, he tried to be Hangman Page, but Hangman Page is just like was going through pain because the thing is. Uh, like Matt Hardy, that he was going to do a side effect. He thought he was going to do side effect and freaking uh, twist the fate on him and try to get the two. I mean, that was a fun match. That was great. But I'm glad that he actually got more money. He's richer than God now. And like I said, it's one of those things that it's. One of those things that I'm still trying to fight with, because here's the thing. I love that Matt Hardy's in AEW. I love the fact that he's trying with Private Party. And I love the fact that Dark Order's really being them. And it's not like they're, we know what they want to do because of, because of Brody Lee. And I love the fact that Dark Order's just having a fun time. Even with Cole Cabana being there. And Cole Cabana being there, it's like actually setting everybody, making everybody feel fun. I love it. Like I told you, like I did like the match between um Moxley and Omega. The the you know, the barbed wire um death match was cool. I just think that they really don't like he I already kinda knew that Kenny was gonna win the belt. Because Mox, his thing about Mox. He was a great champion. He was always a great champion to me. He's still the greatest champion to me in AEW besides like but besides you know, besides Chris Jericho. And besides any man, it's just that the only way that Kenny's gonna lose that belt is if Hangman gets the belt. 
And it's going to be that traditional thing where he's going to... Because here's the thing. The Elite's gone. The Bullet Club are kind of back together with Kenny. And that's the thing. Don Callis is always going to be Don Callis. He's going to be Cyrus the Virus. He's going to be that dude from ECW. He's going to be that dude. And this is the thing. That And I thought about this last night. Christian's probably going to change the game and go after Kenny. Because I would want him to go after him. And I would want him to be that guy to go after him and get a max contract and let him wrestle and let him do what he does. Because if he can if he can beep do if he can be hangman page and go after him and then be like, yo, Kenny, there's one guy you never beat and you've never faced me. But anyway, guys, um this is my that's my AEW um rev uh Revolution review. Um, like I said, it was the the face of Revolution was Matt. I'm glad that Scorpio Sky won. I'm glad that he's gonna get a shot against Darby, hopefully. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.